Hello sugar plums! My name is Evelyn and this channel is Planning Day Eve. Today in this video we are doing another snatch and it's going to be for a monthly spread and the person that we are snatching I'll let you know in a little bit but just stay tuned. Um, you might be wondering why I'm using so many sticker books. Well, if you stay to the end of the video, you will see a project that I have been working on that I'm going to give you a sneak peek on because it's not fully completed. But I just wanted to give you guys a little um, bit of a, <laughs> a treat for watching. Um, so on Planning Day Eve, this is a channel where I like to say that I do not claim to know it all, but I do claim to be that planner babe that's going to let you know what she's learning, share her talents, and definitely my silly. Um, so hope you enjoy my sense of humor. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. I am going to be showing you, for those of you are f who are, have been hanging out with me for a while, um, this is a planner I've yet to fully show you yet. So I'm not going to get into a complete fl flip through, but I will let you know what it is for. This is a planner that I utilize for trying to keep our house sane. Yes, I said sane. All right, so we're going to flip to June and I want you to see what I tried to do. <laughs> This is definitely not my style, but I thought I would leave it simple because I was doing planning with my husband and we just needed to get it on paper. And I was looking at it and said, you know what? This is bothering me. <laughs> so we're gonna do some Evelyn-ness on it, but in a snatching way. So I hope you're ready. If you are new, what is snatching? Snatching is when you have gained inspiration from another planner babe spread and you make it your own basically, you know. Today we are snatching a spread as a tribute to a squad member from the previous years. Now I can't say 2018 to 2019 because this lovely babe began her journey as a squad member in 2017. None other than the notable Liz. Now, can't you just tell how fantastic Liz is? I mean, like pink hair, only cool people can do that. Well, Liz is also an artist and she was in school while she was on the squad. So how fantastic is that? She also uses that wonderful experience in her spreads, you can totally tell. Well, this collaboration of snatching is going to do the snatch for June that you're looking at right now. Check out the other ladies who are snatching in the links down below. So let me start off with numbers first because these numbers are not getting it for me. I mean. My sisters plan this way and it's good for them, but it is not good for me. And if you do it that way, if it's good for you, awesome. Um, but if it's not, let's you can check out this way. So I got these numbers from a kit that I bought. It was a big kit and we're just gonna put the numbers over. Okay, back to the voiceover. Let's speed it up so you can, let's get to the good stuff, right? So I'm going to fussy cut, which is cutting closely to that sneaker. No, it is not a happy planner sneaker, but that's okay because I'm not officially on the squad yet. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but um, yes, if you are looking for Evelyn, who is on the 2019-2020 year of the Happy Planner Squad, you found her. Ha ha. Thank you so much, guys, for all of the wonderful messages and hanging out with me. I love this community. You guys are all so rad and creative, and I am so honored to interact with you more. So, as you saw, I put leaves on the top of here. I wanted to do that to kind of replicate the sticker that Liz used. And um, I am also kind of doing a week of little icons. But I chose to do things that kind of represent summer for my family. And um, we do a lot of crafting. We do a lot of educational things over the summer. My husband's a teacher. I come from a family of teachers. That's just normal. And... Um, um, I just wanted to put that on my spread. So that's what you got here. Hope you enjoyed it. Two things here. 
this is kind of like a summer bucket list that I got from a, one of a, one of my beautiful friends when I used to be in a group called MOPS and that stands for Mothers of Preschoolers. If you are not familiar and you are a mom of um, a child from birth to preschool, I definitely would suggest you check it out. It was a lifesaver for me and you just go to www mops.org and you can find a mops location near you so in here this came from somewhat simple.com i'll link that down below too and this is kind of like a summer bucket list right and it has some wonderful ideas for things that you can do over the summer with your littles or your children so that's something else and this this is just an idea of kind of how to black block out your time um, I have a wonderful pediatrician and he always says if you um, want to kind of help your children with patience the best thing you can do is to have a schedule because you can they don't understand time but they understand pattern and so if you tell them like let's say it's 8 o'clock in the morning and you guys you're, for some reason you told your child that you're going to have pizza <laughs> um, and at 8 o'clock that morning they are bothering you about pizza well it's, if you're in a schedule like this you can always say hey yes we will have pizza today we will do it after you do school with mommy after you do school with mommy and play with mommy a little bit then we'll have pizza so then they'll understand oh man that's way later today that's probably i'm gonna have to take a nap before that but okay mommy said that and and after that you've been consistent in that then they understand to trust that it's gonna happen um when you say it's gonna happen and you will have yourself with a little bit more of a patient child um this is something that i have to revisit because as i added on more children i i steered away from it and i really remember the benefits of it so i'm i'm giving you that from both ends of the spectrum okay i know you want to know what project i was talking about because i mentioned that a while ago so i hope you're ready are you ready okay okay i'm gonna tell you again are you ready so buckle your seat belts let's everybody let's put on our virtual seat belts and let's go um journal came in a packet of three from the happy planner i was gifted it because i sent in um kind of like a story no not story a qu answering a question on how the happy planner has changed my life selected by Stephanie and she sent us gifts for those who she selected their stories to be in her speech or like a picture of you to be in her speech um, and so because I had this wonderful gift I was like okay what am I gonna do with it like I really 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 love happy notes I love disc I I love how you can take paper in and out um, but I remember a time in my life where I loved journals like I would go to TJ Maxx and Marshall's and just hoard journals and hoard them and actually use them though so that's really not hoarding is it that's collecting journals and using them so <laughs> better word so I would do that um, I'm getting long-winded so I'm just gonna hurry up and get to the point the one thing that I like about a journal though is that over time all your pages are still gonna be there so it got me thinking and I was like you know what we usually don't use our bucket list stickers I don't use them that much I, I had been collecting them because they're so pretty and usually what we do is um, kind of use them as inspiration to put on our household chalkboard I'll insert a picture right here right now so you can see what I'm talking about um, and then we try to make sure in that season we do that bucket list. Well, I was thinking, hey, if I had it in a book, if we don't get to it in that season, we can come back to it. And so I decided that this would be my bucket list journal. So as I said, it's not completed, but this I wanted to go ahead and share with you um, what I was doing. And I've been using the memory keeping sticker books here let me hold, show them to you I use seasonal 876 I used 
A Year of Memories, which is from Happy Memory Keeping. Uh, Everyday Memories, also from Memory Keeping. And then I will be using some of my um, dates and holidays. Anything that's not reoccurring, I'll use that. Because, like, ready, ready for some football, like, that is not in here already. I'll show it to you. Okay, so, so far, let me show you what I got so far. So, what will happen is these things will be here as we do them we'll check them off and then in here what I will be doing is writing the date in which we did an item so it'll be the date the item and then like maybe a fun memory from it like just a sentence or two and then it continues on so re remember we're in spring and then this continues on and then there's more space so literally I have three pages to write memories um, one two um, and then if I need to continue on I still have I have room I section this out I believe seven pages per season and so then this is summer this will be a uh, craft cuz wait I, I think I did it for Mother's Day here yeah make gifts for Mother's Day like I put an arrow Mother's Day and then it'll be the same thing for summer which actually I think, yeah, Father's Day. Father's Day is officially before summertime, but I think this year. Here, let's check. Let's make sure I'm not giving you improper information. Okay, when is... Hey Google, when is Father's Day? Father's Day in United States will be on Sunday, June 16, 2019. Well, there you go. So, it's technically before summer, but it was in the summer section, so I went with it. So, I will be, I use the stencil, I use the stencil to make circles to check, and that's something that I'll continue on. And then, same concept, right? Same concept. And then, here's fall. Um, this was watch. I think it says watch it was like watch Halloween movies or something like that um, we don't do that so I'm going to write in here um, watch Thanksgiving movies um, we like to do that so I just tailored it to me and what this is is a colorful box I cut out what it said and then I put a colorful box underneath it like I sandwiched it before I placed it all down and this is fall um, I left this blank but I'll take more pictures of it later so you can see what I'm writing for these sections and then this is winter this is what I started off with winter for and these this section back here will be year-round so things that don't necessarily have to be seasonal but if any bucket list items that we think about doing and for us that would probably be like a certain trip or um, making sure um one of like a certain family members try fa family member tries an activity like for instance our second daughter just came to us and said she wanted to start ballet so we'll do let let cupcake try out ballet you know that'll be what what year-round things are um these tabs actually came from the teacher sticker book and it was this one, 1192 Teacher. And that was the page that it came from. So that is my little project that I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Um, I have another project idea. I will go ahead and, I can go ahead and tell you about it now. Um, so my other journal, which is right I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use but this is what came in this set maybe I'll yes maybe you guys can help me choose uh, yay you get to help me choose something okay so one of these two books my idea was was that I would use hold on one second my idea I use I would use these for would be a, a, a beauty keep book 
Um, and I know you're like, what is a beauty key book, Evelyn? What does that mean? What are you talking about? What is this you mean? Okay, so a beauty key book for me, um, here, I'll just show you my notes. Don't, don't mind this stuff up here. But beauty key book. So any appointments that I consider beauty wise would be in that book. Um, like hair appointments, um, waxing appointments, facial appointments, things of that nature. Any beauty type things that I want to try, that would be a different tab. Um, cleaned would be like my makeup like cleaned out my makeup so it would be like a list of when certain foundations and things need to be thrown away or repurchased that would be that and then a closet checklist and a closet checklist for me <laughs> this is actually something my husband is um oh and this is in this notes book because i think that that's me because glitter is always an option and so is orange the color all right anyways um so quickly let me tell you what i what i was going to tell you about the closet so my husband to me is a very fashionable gentleman and i love that about him he is i like how he dro he dresses kind of like really old school to me like when he decides to dress up his dress up is like very 1950s and his dress down is totally 90s because that's when he was a teenager okay anyways so <laughs> Um, one thing that we always talk about with my closet because we we discuss fashion that's just something that we like to do and um, I've noticed as an adult and after having kids I kind of stick to one color even though when I was younger I would like you know I would like a close across the rainbow that was like just my thing because I have a background in retail so I would you know I would try to color dress every color of the rainbow and I had fun with it and you could tell that I was having fun with it you just it just radiated and that's something that I've gotten away from and it's something that I have to intentionally intentionally do so one of these books will have a closet checklist of like basically different tops bottoms like just inventory of my closet basically so to speak and things that I should be looking for so if I notice that I do not have a yellow tank top or blouse or that's something that I want to get then I would put it in my beauty keep book and then whenever I go shopping for clothes I would have my beauty keep book with me to help me not repurchase kind of similar items that I already have in my closet if that makes sense so that was the idea of the beauty keep book and then of course you know with children running around and you shopping it's better for all of your things to be intact um, so that's what I was thinking about doing with these journals and I hope you find that useful for yourself Let me know in the comments down below if you think that that's something that you could make good use of or if you have any other ideas of what to do with the happy planner journals because other happy planner babes want to hear from you they want to know and you should share your ideas all right so thank you so much for watching this a little bit longer video I hope you enjoyed it if you did and you are new to the channel I want to take this time to invite you to join the sugar plum fam Woo! all right please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on any more videos and until next time I want you to try to enjoy your planning time just as you would Christmas Eve. Until next time, bye-bye.